Hey, listen. Good morning. Good morning. Wow, it's really, really dark. That setting on the webcam is not doing what it's supposed to be doing. Let's go in and, and do some settings there. Let's go back to restore the defaults. Washed out goodness. Hey, good morning, Aski. How's it going? It's Thursday morning for me. Wednesday evening. Wednesday night for the people in the, uh, the Americas. Hey, Jordy. How's it going? You made it. Hey, Bruno Romanos. Good morning. So how about you guys start thinking about some topics and I'll do some mental gymnastics. <laughs> Throw me some topics. It doesn't need to be any, sp you can like say color blue as a topic as well. It doesn't need to be anything specific. So whatever you feel like could be an interesting topic, you know, the word joy or or something specific like a heartless killer you know anything goes don't feel like you need to have a kind of solidity to it like a one-legged hamster you know hey Jordy yeah yeah that it's super cold over here good morning good morning ohms Schmaze. Captain Jetlag, fantastic people, right there. Steampunk T-Rex wizard, what have you been smoking, Jordy? What have you been smoking? Hey, Quentin. All right, let's roll the dice. Why is it the number one? God damn it. Okay. <laughs> Snooze. <laughs> number two. All right, which one is number two? Let's see. Injured Royal Messenger by Alms. That's interesting. That's interesting. Injured Royal Messenger. Injured Royal Messenger by Alms. All right. I have a picture in my head. Why did it do that? Time's running. Time's running. All right. So the picture in my head is as follow. This is the game plan. I see, I saw a mouse like mouse lying on the side on a pillow like being hurt or not on the side but kind of head on the side right being hurt um like looking down the camera kind of on a pillow like uh, on the side and having the the duffel bag or whatever ma male guy bag the messenger bag is <laughs> male guy bag the messenger bag like that on the side and it's like you know he's been taken care of so that's the that's the the plan right that's the battle plan um yeah so let's let's do it so that's my vision of a injured royal messenger Injured Royal Messenger, yeah. So the ear has to be floppier than uh, a sketch there because he's injured, right? You should see the you should see the pillow kind of like that. Does this make sense? I don't know. 
know if it makes sense. Good morning, Zelin. How's it going? Okay, so today I'm going to be painting with light, I felt. Maybe he should be like reaching out, holding. Oh, yeah. He should be reaching out, holding a letter. Like a scroll. Oh, nice. Maybe he should have an arrow in him. And he's kind of like leaning, leaning in. Got to hand over the letter to the bitter end, says the royal messenger. There we go. There's the story. Hey, Eric, how's it going? So the poor royal messenger, he's hurt. Forced to deliver the message to the king, maybe. To the evil queen. Is it the the good king from, is a, it's a message from the evil queen, maybe. Declaring war, and it, it's his, it, or maybe it's the secret plans of the evil queen that the mouse has delivered into the bitter end because of that fact and he's injured he should have more injuries like they've been really trying to to shoot him right so he can't deliver the news to the to the to the king Hey, good morning, Nereida. How's it going? So it's a fantastically cold day today. <laughs> it's horrible. It's really, really cold. So are you guys getting ready for Inktober? How many of you will um, will join in on Inktober, by the way? I think what I will do for Inktober is to stream it every day. My my thirty minute warm ups is going to be October every day. I think that would be good. Kill two birds in one stone. I also think that could be an interesting process for you guys to see uh, me um, <laughs> look at me uh, having looking at me uh, by drawings rather um, how I do with ballpoint pen. As I don't do, uh, I don't do under drawings when I do my inktobers. I just sit down and draw. It's very similar to to this process of just having a picture in the head, but I think it could be, you know, for for beginners or or, or people who are interested. I think that could be a cool little insight in um, not using under drawings uh, with ballpoint pen potentially be something or if it's a completely boring idea and you none every one of you don't you're not interested in at all in seeing traditional warm-ups with ink just scream it and uh, I will continue doing digital warm-ups Quentin that's a pretty cool uh, Inktober challenge Hey, Kakad32, you're new. Welcome. Welcome to my stream. <laughs> hey, Jacob Wobbly, good morning. Or good evening, good night, rather. Schmeiz. Schmaze, schmaze. That you do, you should schmaze. You should make a like a butter company and call it schmaze, like cheese, cheese and butter combo company. There we go. That's schmaze. Oh, mom, mom, I'd like some schmaze with my sandwich. 
There, there, son. Don't eat all the schmays at once. <laughs> Such an awesome nickname. May Mayo schmays. Oh God. <laughs> Mayo schmays. That that probably that that wins the internet for today. Awesome, Jacob Mowgli. Mayo schmays. God damn it, that's that's hilarious. <laughs> Mayo schmays. Sounds sounds delicious. Mayo schmays. Not this the regular schmays and then the mayo schmays. Is like striped, right? It's normal schmaze, but with mayo incorporated in it. So when you spritz it out, it's like a spiral. Spiral goodness of mayo schmaze. <laughs> uh, dude, you know what? You know what, Jacob and schmaze? I'm making a project with a friend of mine, um, which allows for fake companies um, to be like on billboards. And I'm gonna make schmaze. I'm gonna make schmaze. I, I, I'll promise you that at some time in the future, when me and my friend um, shows the project publicly, you'll see schmaze. The, I'm, I'm gonna incorporate schmaze. It's such a fantastic word. Schmaze. It's a given. It's a given. Can you not? How can you not put schmays into a fake world if you're free to do it? Uh, Captain Boss, it's the royal um, injured royal messenger. It's a mouse. It's a mousy. He's injured. He has to deliver the message to the king. That the evil queen is coming. He's stolen her plants, or he's a messenger of this thief who stole the plants. And the mouse, at his last breath, is handing out the letter to the king that has the plans of the evil queen. The evil queen, the evil crow queen evil not a crow that's too typical she has crows she is a snake the evil snake queen he brings the news she's gonna attack at dawn assemble the toad toads <laughs> The toads are like the bruisers. They are the knights. They are big and fat and heavy. At the messenger's dying breath, he hands it over. Maybe he's already dead. Stiff rigor mortis. The queen, the queen is coming. He needs more fear in his eyes as he's at the threshold of death. Bigger, more whites in his eyes. <laughs> Fucking dark painted. Hey, Lana the Great. Good morning. Bear Bros. Yeah, don't don't snooze can make you ill, man. If you if you're not if you're not uh, Scandinavian. <laughs> That that uh, nicotine sneaks up on you. Poor Mousy is like 
spring. The king must be notified. The queen is coming. So here's the messenger bag. Brings the. That's cool, Jacob. Mobley. I'm looking forward to see what you're gonna do. And Zutin about streaming every day for over a year. Uh, yeah, I think I think it has improved. I mean, the fact that just being um, constant about it, I think is. Um, what 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 did hell have helped me most you know just being consistent um, I've all it's, it's not that um, sketching is something new to my process right I, I sketch a lot um, but the difference is I I've, I've learned how to publicly speak a lot better I'll be a lot more confident in in um, sitting in front of a camera. Uh, my sketch process probably have changed because, as you can see through through the year, year and a half almost now, um, I have experimented a lot with technique, and I think technique is something you have to experiment with, and I think the fact that doing these warm-ups have allowed me to um, to experiment more and, and be um, like voicing the experiments you know like to you guys and, and and sharing my thought process and so on I think I think it whenever you have to explain something let's let's put it like this whenever you have to explain something you first have to consider what you're gonna say, right? And in order to, to tell someone what you're doing, you have to figure out what the hell you're doing, right? And you just can say, I don't know what I'm doing now. And at this point, I don't know what I'm doing. And I'm doing more stuff of the things I don't know what I'm doing. You know, so you, you get the picture, right? You gotta have a, in order to teach something, you know, like preparing a lecture, you have to, start thinking about what you know and how you know it and in in a efficient way to explain it so in a roundabout way of doing these warm-ups where i'm experimenting with technique and voicing my my inner monologue of um, of what i'm doing uh, helps me to learn at the same time you know so it's this interesting uh, it's this interesting, you know, kind of give and take, right? Hey, good morning, Mila. Welcome. <laughs> Beard bros, yeah. The 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 thing with the, with snooze is that it it, it sneaks up on you. And it kind of vibrates into, vibrates, keeps vibrating. If you know, if you get too much nicotine and you take it out, you know, it's too late already. You're going to be in there for a while. And for the people who don't know, snus is this kind of Nordic tobacco, which is, uh, it, there's two different versions of it. It's in a bag, like a cloth little pouch or is raw uh, like tobacco mixture um, it's kind of wet right and you put it underneath your lip up in the gum and it kind of sits there and, and, and secretes <laughs> that's another good word secreting secretes uh, nicotine uh, into your uh, bloodstream and uh, a lot of people who never used it when the first time they do they get sick 
like they get too much nicotine and they get they feel ill because it's it's potent uh, nicotine you know it's nicotine against the the, the gum <laughs> you know it's a good it's a good combination right there set up a setup to fail you know anyway so that's snooze nordic type tobacco uh, very popular amongst working men and women uh, because um, you can do it indoors it's like smoker's version or smokeless nicotine version like sounds like i'm some sort of salesman for it but um <laughs> i'm not i used to do it though um, so i know what i'm no i used i know what i'm talking about in that sense but i quit everything tobacco related many years ago i i don't see the use of being addicted so i quit Hey Gaxis, good morning. Henrik West. Hello. Beer Bros, right. Or or Jordy, right. Yeah, it's um it's a special kind of magic. <laughs> song name. Shitty song name drop. So where are we with time? We are two thirds in. I, I have established quite, quite a lot. Struggling with, um, I'm getting to a point where masses are um, defined, and we're getting to the point where detailing ha has to come in, and. Uh, and trying, I mean, before I start to detail, I think I need to establish the light a little bit better because now it's kind of slightly confusing at places, right? Poor Mousy is dying. More fear. He has to, what, what when you die? Pupils are not dilated because you're in, in, in fear. Your adrenaline, your adrenaline dumping. So it has to have smaller irises. Yeah. Should he be crying? Oh man, it's so dark. <laughs> Crazy dark painting today. Man, poor Mousy. Look at look what you've done, Oms. Look at what you've created. You created this horrible dying scene of a of the brave royal messenger delivering the words of war to the king. We, we, we went dark today, man. <laughs> Super dark. Mila, yeah. I used to smoke as well a while but when I was younger. It had its charm, but it's not good for you whatsoever. Captain Boss, yeah, it's, it's getting there. He's like, ah, oh, the war is coming. He needs to have some outfit, right? So, so we understand he's a messenger, not just a mousy mouse. 
he needs to have something that indicates that he is a messenger, right? Maybe they open his coat up. It's like oh, oh, coughing some blood. Tell the tell the king war is coming. You can definitely sense like his shaking hand as he's holding out the the letter. Maybe it should be a little bit of blood on it, you know, like he has been through war delivering the the message. Is he a Geralt? I don't think I don't think he says kill me. He he of course wants to do his duty, the, his royal duty as a messenger, right? To to de deliver the message. And when he's done that, he accepts death, right? He he allows death to enter his body. It's like okay, my job is done. Blah, and dies. Maybe he drops a line like, no, he doesn't have a family. He, he has devoted his life to the to be a messenger a royal messenger something he's proud of or maybe he has a wife but he knows it's for the for the best of the for the kingdom he's a, he does his duty and he's crying as is on the threshold of death Poor mouse. I need. We need a story about this mouse. We need to know the the glory and, and and his and his dedication to the real realm. You know, we need to we need to see. We can't just see the end of his glorious glorious dedication to the kingdom, right? We have to see. We need to do more paintings with. What was his name? Gerald, or is he? Uh, Basil, I love Basil, by the way, for a name of a mouse from that old TV or that old movie, Basil Mouse. Tell my wife I love her. Henrik, oh, oh, <laughs> Cezanne, oh man, that is dark. That is some seriously dark shit right there. <laughs> uh, he delivers the message of his own death. That is hilarious. His own radication. He delivers a message. <laughs> Oh, dude, that is so, so dark. He's dying. Four minutes left. We got this. We got this. We're, we're on, we're on the right path for sure. Poor Mousy Mouse. What's his name? What's his story? I want to know his glory. Maybe the next two week challenge is depicting an epic moment of this mouse, of his glory, right? So the next two, it's, it's, it's a given. The next two week challenge is to depict an epic moment in this mouse life.
right? We need to know more stories of him. We need to know some of his like milestone uh, achievements as a royal messenger. Like maybe the moment when the time when he battled or outwitted the trolls of of the north, or the time a snake almost killed him, or the moment when he got his child. His first little mousy. This loving moment when he holds the the little mouse for the, for the first time and gives him a name, or when he gets married to his to his mouse wife. Oh, and now he's at the death's door, delivering the message of war for the good of the country, for the good of the kingdom. You've done your work, mousy mouse. That's the next two week challenge. Next two week challenge is depicting the, this little mousy's glory days, like milestones of his life. Yeah, the arrows are definitely mouse-sized, so there's a clue right there, right? Treason. You're just one massive arrowhead through the mouth. <laughs> yeah, some some dark shit happening right here. Okay, I think in order to tell this composition here, we need to mute the saddle bag a bit. We need to highlight the scroll a bit more. More like that. Bring that out a bit. Yeah, that's better. That's way better. <laughs> Jordan. <laughs> that is hilarious. Yeah, who knows, right? Got to deliver the message. <gasps> the war. The Dark Queen is coming. He has to save his wife, right? Save his family. He has to deliver, not only for the kingdom, but for his own personal reasons, you know. He has to make sure his wife is safe now that he's dying. His child and wife. So it's just not for the king, it's actually for his personal gain as well. He has to deliver quickly, quickly. Riding, he has a sparrow that he's been riding on. Maybe he's actually not riding because you know he's a mouse. He's flying on a sparrow. The sparrow is dead. His be beloved, trusted sparrow that he's been riding on, delivering mail to the kingdom, animal kingdom now died crashed into the great hall of the king as it tumbled in he fell off injured take me to the king take me to the king he said as he was lying there unable to move 
I'm just making stories up here, left and right. All right, time's up. Hey, Hefez, bro. Welcome to the very end of the stream. Hey, Ton 2005. Triple X. <laughs> you think Hefes, bro? You think he'll be saved? You think uh, he did his job and and the 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 royal uh, witch or the healer will heal him, or is he done? Is he a goner? Who knows? Stay tuned. <laughs> oh, there was a massive cat. Yeah, the cat ate him. Just crunched him up like. Breakfast cereals, like eggshells, sound of eggshells crushing in your palm. All right, thanks everyone for joining in. Thank you very much, Ohms, for the topic. It became uh, such a little story. Uh, have a fantastic day. Good night. Um, see you tomorrow morning for another warm-up. Uh, have a great one, everyone. Thanks for joining in in creating the story of the mousy mouse here. <laughs> All right. Thanks, everyone. And bye. Here comes the outro time. Outro time. Outro time.